um, people who invented what's called the cyclic redundancy check. Terrible old name, um, very long, but very, very clever in its method. Okay? How does it work? Um, you're going to need to get a calculator out on your computer to do this next part, or Excel will do it for you as well. What the cyclic redundancy check does is, instead of adding up all of these numbers and then dividing, okay, what it does is it just takes all of the numbers, right, this is probably a zero, right, this is a zero, and it just crams them all together into one huge number, okay? So in this case, the number would be, I think it was 25111207130 okay? So this is what the cyclic redundancy check does. Instead of adding them all up, it just uh, it, it puts them all together in one number, okay, in sequence, right? And then it does something very similar. It divides. Okay? So for instance, it might divide by, say, the same number we got before, 16. Okay? And again, it's going to look for a remainder. Okay? Now, this is a very large number, but I think your calculator should be able to handle it. Can someone tell me what's the remainder for this? After you divide by 16, what do you get? Anyone got it? By the way, just a tip. What you can do is, if you divide this, right? Well, actually, let me just do it. Let's, hopefully, this has enough digits. 2, 5, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 7, 1, 3, Okay. So I got this number, right? Now this part, the big number, I'm not interested in. I'm actually interested in the bit on the end, right? Because that's the part that's going to give me the remainder. Now, I actually suspect that's all the decimal places I've got. I think it's 0.5. There are no trailing decimal places. But just to be sure, what you do is you'd subtract the big part. Okay. So I would subtract 1, 5, 6, 9, 4, 5, 0, and sure enough, it does leave me with that. Okay. What does that 0.5 mean? It means I've got 0.5 bits of 16 left over. Okay. So therefore, the remainder is 8. Okay. So this gets sent along okay, as, my, as my CRC number. Okay. 